U.S. coronavirus deaths topped 45,000 on Tuesday doubling in a little over a week and rising by a near-record amount in a single day, according to a Reuters tally. The United States has by far the world's largest number of confirmed coronavirus cases at over 810,000, almost four times as many as Spain, the country with the second highest number. Globally, cases topped 2.5 million on Tuesday. U.S. deaths increased by more than 2,750 on Tuesday alone, just shy of a peak of 2,806 deaths in a single day on April 15. New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Michigan each reported their highest single-day coronavirus-related death tolls on Tuesday, over 800 between the three states. New York State, the epicenter of the U.S. outbreak, reported 481 new deaths. Health officials have noted that deaths are a lagging indicator of the outbreak, coming weeks after patients fall sick, and do not mean stay-at-home restrictions are failing to slow the spread of the virus. New reported U.S. cases appear to be slowing this week, rising by less than 30,000 a day for the past four days through Tuesday. The United States had a record 35,392 new cases on April 4. States including Georgia and South Carolina eased restrictions on imposed during the pandemic that shut down businesses and largely confined residents to their homes following protests in Michigan, Pennsylvania, California and elsewhere. A Reuters Ipsos opinion poll released on Tuesday showed a majority of Americans believed that stay-at-home orders should remain in place until public health officials determined that lifting them is safe, despite the damage to the U.S. economy. The measures have forced more than 22 million people to apply for unemployment benefits in the last month and caused oil prices to crash as the pandemic has obliterated demand for fuel. Adding, Wisconsin Republicans file lawsuit challenging coronavirus shutdown order. Republican lawmakers in Wisconsin on Tuesday filed a lawsuit against Democratic Governor Tony Evers, challenging his stay-at-home order to contain the coronavirus outbreak as states' decisions on when to reopen their economies have become increasingly political. The lawsuit asks the Wisconsin Supreme Court to issue a temporary injunction on the state's order that was extended until May 26 by the Secretary of Wisconsin's Department of Health Services last week at the direction of the governor. There's immense frustration regarding the extension, as it goes beyond the executive branch's statutory powers. Wisconsinites are forced to sit by with no voice in the process, State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald said in a joint statement. There have been 4,600 cases of COVID-19 in Wisconsin and 242 deaths, state officials reported on Tuesday. In the lawsuit, Republicans accused the department secretary designee, Andrea Palm, of overstepping her legal authority by issuing the extension, saying she has laid claim to a suite of Tsar-like powers. Eva's office and Palm's office both did not respond to requests for comment. The court challenge in Wisconsin comes a week after Democratic lawmakers in New Hampshire filed a lawsuit against the state's Republican governor, Chris Sununu, hoping to force him to involve the legislature in deciding how to spend federal stimulus money, according to local media. The reopening of state economies has become a political hot-button issue as the shutdowns hammer the U.S. economy. Protesters in Wisconsin, Michigan and elsewhere have demanded a rollback on orders that have closed businesses and other activities to fight the pandemic. Governors in Georgia, South Carolina and other states are pushing ahead with plans to begin a partial restart of their economies despite warnings that loosening restrictions prematurely could lead to a fresh surge of coronavirus infections.